Fellow preppers across the United States, the clock is ticking. It's time to act, and act fast. I'm here today to talk about something crucial, something that demands your immediate attention. Have you ever thought about what happens when the items we rely on for survival become off-limits? What if one day you wake up to find that the tools and supplies you need are no longer within reach? Today we're diving into the eight prepping items to get before they are illegal. This isn't just about staying ahead. It's about ensuring your survival and the survival of those you care about. 1. Pepper Sprays, also known as Mace, Capsaicin. In today's showcase of unique survival gear, there's one item that demands our attention, stirring quite the debate yet undeniably pivotal in personal defense scenarios. This item's relevance is magnified by the looming shadow of legal restrictions that might soon make it a rare find. We're diving into the world of pepper sprays, known to some as mace or capsaicin sprays. This isn't your run-of-the-mill gear, and it's certainly not found in every prepper's arsenal, but the reasons for its inclusion are compelling. Pepper spray stands out as a formidable tool for personal defense, striking a balance between efficacy and non-lethality. It's the kind of tool that can halt an aggressor in their tracks, buying you invaluable seconds to escape to safety. The secret lies in its active ingredient, capsaicin extracted from chili peppers, which unleashes an intense burning sensation, temporary blindness, and breathing difficulties on its recipient, all without causing permanent harm. Why spotlight this in our lineup? As the world tiptoes into unpredictability and regulations around self-defense tools tighten, the significance of having a non-lethal means to protect oneself and loved ones skyrockets. In numerous locales, pepper spray is already ensnared in a web of strict regulations, and the horizon hints at potential legal clampdowns or outright prohibitions. Securing a canister now, while the opportunity is ripe, could be a prudent decision. The essence of pepper spray lies in its responsible usage. It's a shield, not a sword. Integrating it into your survival kit demands a thorough understanding of its mechanics. Grasp its range, effects, and the discipline required to carry and use it responsibly. Now, let's narrow our focus to a specific example that epitomizes the ideal in personal defense. The PS Products Eliminator Pepper Spray. This isn't your average pepper spray. It's a compact yet potent ally designed to tip the scales in your favor during perilous encounters. The PS Products Eliminator Pepper Spray, contained in a three-quarters ounce canister, champions portability. Its size allows for discreet carriage on a keychain, in a pocket, or within a purse. Yet don't let its diminutive stature fool you. It delivers a concentrated stream, minimizing the risk of blowback, a critical feature in windy conditions or confined spaces. This precision ensures you can accurately target an assailant from a safe distance, maintaining a buffer zone that could be crucial for your safety. A standout attribute of this pepper spray is its range, capable of reaching 8, 10 feet. This distance is a game changer, allowing you to defend yourself without the need to close in on a threat. Additionally, the quick release key ring is a testament to its thoughtfully designed user experience. In moments of high stress, when every second is critical, fumbling for your pepper spray isn't an option. This mechanism ensures the spray is in your hand the moment you need it without delay. Safety is paramount, and the eliminator is equipped with a safety lock to prevent accidental discharge a feature of utmost importance to avoid unintended harm in non-threatening situations. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that the effectiveness of the PS Products Eliminator Pepper Spray, while significant, can be influenced by external factors such as wind direction and the assailant's sensitivity to capsaicin. Moreover, the legal landscape surrounding pepper spray is a patchwork of regulations that vary significantly. It's imperative to familiarize yourself with the laws in your area before making a purchase or carrying it. 2. Strategic use of flashlights, specifically high-powered flashlights, as a means to disorient or stun an attacker. This isn't just about shedding light on the situation, it's about giving you those crucial extra seconds to either make a swift exit or prepare to defend yourself more aggressively. Let's talk specifics. You might be familiar with the smaller, handheld flashlights often labeled as tactical. Their designation comes from the sheer power of their lumens output. To put it in perspective, for a flashlight to effectively impair an attacker's vision, even if only temporarily, you're looking at needing something with at least 500 lumens. That said, don't underestimate a 200 lumen flashlight with a focused beam. It can still pack a blinding punch under the right conditions. 
Many of these tactical flashlights come equipped with a feature known as a crenellated strike bezel. If you're not familiar, it's essentially a series of jagged edges or notches around the flashlight's head, which can be used for striking. While some models feature more pronounced crenellations than others, their primary function remains the same, to add an extra layer of defense, transforming your flashlight into a makeshift weapon that can also bolster your fist, much like a Kubaton. Now, while a thousand lumen flashlight is impressive and more than capable of disorienting someone, there are absolute behemoths out there. I'm talking about flashlights that push the boundaries with a hundred thousand lumens. These aren't just bright. They're capable of lighting up an entire area like it's broad daylight, potentially blinding not just one, but multiple aggressors. Switching gears, let's consider a scenario where traditional means of self-defense are off the table. It's a bleak picture, where your rights are stripped away, and the world feels like it's teetering on the edge of a dystopian nightmare. In such a world, what could you possibly use to defend yourself in a dire situation? Surprisingly, a common fire extinguisher can serve as an unexpected ally. Most people overlook fire extinguishers as anything other than a safety tool for dousing flames. However, when wielded with intent, they can become a significant deterrent against attackers. When activated, a fire extinguisher releases a cloud of powdered chemical designed to smother fires. This same powder can act as a powerful irritant to human eyes and respiratory systems, potentially halting an attacker in their tracks and giving you that precious window to escape. Moreover, the physical canister of a fire extinguisher can be used as a blunt instrument. In a high-stakes situation, leveraging the weight and heft of an extinguisher could help you fend off or incapacitate an assailant, buying you even more time to get to safety. 3. Adding to our list of unconventional yet potentially life-saving items, let's talk about the Chlorine Maker SC200. Now, before your eyebrows reach your hairline, let me explain the rationale and, of course, the obligatory disclaimer about legality and responsible use. The Chlorine Maker SC200 is essentially a device designed for water purification, turning salt water into chlorine through electrolysis. In a survival situation, having access to clean water is paramount. But we're looking at this device through a different lens today, as a means of creating a deterrent or a defensive barrier. In a scenario where you're barricaded or need to secure a perimeter, the ability to produce chlorine can be invaluable. Chlorine gas, while dangerous and not something to be handled lightly, can be used to create a non-lethal barrier that would deter or incapacitate an aggressor long enough for you to escape or call for help. The key here is understanding the controlled and safe production of chlorine, ensuring it's used in a manner that's defensive and not offensive, keeping in mind the paramount importance of safety and legality. I must stress, the use of such a device in this manner walks a fine line in terms of legal and ethical considerations. The production and deployment of chlorine gas, even in a defensive capacity, are subject to strict regulations in many jurisdictions due to its potential as a hazardous material. This is not something to be taken lightly, and I strongly advise against any use of the SC200 or similar devices for self-defense without thorough research into local laws and, ideally, consultation with legal authorities or experts in chemical safety. The Chlorine Maker SC200, while innovative in its primary function of providing safe drinking water, embodies the principle of dual-use technology. It's a stark reminder of the importance of understanding and respecting the power and potential consequences of the tools at our disposal. As with all items discussed, the emphasis is on theoretical application and the overarching message of preparedness, responsibility, and legal compliance. Remember, the goal of self-defense is to protect oneself and loved ones without causing unnecessary harm or crossing legal boundaries. The exploration of items like the SC200 is meant to broaden perspectives on what tools can offer in extreme situations, always within the framework of ethical and legal use. 4. A loud hand-operated air raid siren. Now, before you dismiss this as something out of a World War II movie, hear me out. The psychological impact of a sudden, overwhelmingly loud noise cannot be understated. In a situation where you're trying to deter an aggressor or even alert others to your distress, the piercing sound of an air raid siren can be incredibly effective. This isn't just about making noise, it's about creating a moment of confusion and hesitation in your potential attacker. 
The sound level emitted by these sirens can exceed 120 decibels, easily comparable to a live rock concert or standing right next to a chainsaw. That level of noise can cause immediate disorientation and even pain, buying you precious seconds to either escape or prepare to defend yourself more effectively. Moreover, the sound of an air raid siren carries over long distances, potentially alerting neighbors or even law enforcement to a situation unfolding. In a dire scenario, this could mean the difference between being isolated with a threat or having a timely intervention by others. However, and I can't emphasize this enough, the legality of owning and using such a device varies wildly. In some places, the use of a device that causes such a significant noise disturbance could land you in legal trouble, especially if used in a non-emergency situation. There are also considerations about the potential for causing panic or affecting those with PTSD or other sensitivities to loud noises. Before even considering adding a hand-operated air raid siren to your self-defense toolkit, you absolutely must check the local laws and regulations. This is not something to be taken lightly, both from a legal and ethical standpoint. The last thing you want is to solve one problem only to find yourself in a whole new world of legal complications. Five, in our ongoing exploration of unconventional yet potentially life-saving items, we're diving into the world of powered air purifying respirators or PAPRs. Now, I know what you're thinking. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But in a reality where the air around us can suddenly turn into a carrier for unseen threats, a PAPR is far from just a gadget for the overly cautious. It's a sophisticated piece of equipment that uses a battery-powered blower to push contaminated air through a filter, delivering clean, breathable air directly to you. This device could be a game-changer in situations ranging from chemical spills and pandemics to the aftermath of natural disasters, where air quality is severely impacted. Consider the scenarios where you're up against airborne contaminants, biological threats, or engulfed in heavy smoke. In these moments, a PAPR could quite literally be your lifeline, offering you a supply of purified air when every breath could be laced with danger. This is particularly vital for individuals with respiratory conditions, as well as for the elderly and children who are more vulnerable to compromised air quality. However, there's a significant caveat to consider, the legality of owning and using a PAPR for personal protection. It's crucial to understand that laws regarding the use of such equipment can vary greatly depending on where you are. In some areas, any gear perceived as military or tactical, even if intended for personal safety, could potentially land you in hot water. So, while the idea of equipping yourself with a device that seems like it belongs in a dystopian future might feel extreme, in certain circumstances, it could very well be the thin line between safety and danger. It's important to clarify that our intention isn't to spread fear, but to inform. Operating a PAPR requires a good understanding of its maintenance needs, including regular battery charging and filter replacements, to ensure it's ready to protect you when you need it most. So, if you're contemplating adding a powered air purifying respirator to your emergency kit, it's essential to do your due diligence. Investigate the legalities, get familiar with the maintenance it requires, and most importantly, evaluate if it's a practical choice for your specific needs. Just like other personal safety tools, stun batons, flares, high-powered flashlights, fire extinguishers, pepper sprays, and the virtually indestructible security umbrella. A PAPR is another layer in your personal safety strategy. Its effectiveness and legality, however, hinge on your ability to use it wisely and within the confines of the law. Now, let's touch on a practical aspect that often goes overlooked. Many people own gas masks thinking they're fully prepared. But have you ever tried doing anything strenuous while wearing one? It's incredibly difficult to breathe. That's because any filter, by its very nature, restricts airflow. This is where the PAPR shines. It does the heavy lifting for you, drawing air through the filter with its battery-powered system, allowing you to breathe more easily, even during physically demanding activities. You can connect it to any standard gas mask equipped with NATO 40mm filters, and suddenly, breathing in a hazardous environment becomes much less of a challenge. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The device does add some weight and can limit your mobility, taking up the space of a backpack. But with the option to mount it in various configurations, such as on your chest or integrated into a backpack, 
The PPR offers flexibility in how you choose to wear it. The difference in breathability and comfort between using a gas mask alone and using one with a PAPAR is stark. It's like night and day. 6. An auto-reloading crossbow. In today's rapidly evolving world where uncertainty seems to be the only certainty, the auto-reloading crossbow, specifically the Cobra System R-Series Adder Tactical Repeating Crossbow, is not just a tool. It's a lifeline for survivalists and enthusiasts. This isn't your average piece of equipment. It's a fusion of age-old weaponry and cutting-edge technology, standing out as a top choice for those who take preparedness seriously. Let's delve deeper into what makes the Cobra System R-Series Adder so unique. This crossbow redefines rapid fire with its groundbreaking design, featuring a magazine that eliminates the need for manual reloading after each shot. This magazine, capable of holding five arrows, is a game changer. It allows for quick, successive shots, a critical advantage in high-pressure scenarios, be it for self-defense or hunting. Now, consider the design of this crossbow. It's compact, tactical, and built for the real world. Whether you're navigating through dense woodland or maneuvering in an urban landscape, this crossbow's design ensures ease of use and maneuverability. It's not just about being able to carry it comfortably, it's about being able to use it effectively in any environment. But there's more. The Cobra System R-Series Adder comes with Picatinny Rails, a feature that screams customization. Whether you need scopes, sights, or grips, these rails allow you to tailor the crossbow to your specific needs and preferences, enhancing its versatility across different scenarios. One of the most user-friendly features is the self-cocking mechanism. This lever not only cocks the bow, but also advances the next arrow from the magazine. This reduces the physical strength needed, making the crossbow accessible to a broader range of users. It's about inclusivity and survival preparedness. Comfort and stability are non-negotiable when it comes to weapons like this. The adjustable stock and foregrip on the adder allow for a level of customization that ensures both. This adaptability is crucial for maintaining accuracy, especially under stress. Despite its rapid-fire capability, the Cobra System R-Series adder doesn't compromise on power or accuracy. It's engineered for consistent performance, which is vital whether you're hunting game or in a self-defense situation. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The legal considerations of owning and using the Cobra System R-Series Adder cannot be overstated. Crossbow laws vary significantly by region, and it's imperative to stay informed and compliant with local regulations. This isn't just about staying on the right side of the law. It's about responsible ownership and usage. 7. Maritime Distress Flares Now, I'm not talking about those little roadside emergency flares that burn out in 15 minutes. I'm talking about high-intensity, long-duration maritime distress flares. These bad boys are not just for signaling. They're a multifaceted survival tool that can make a huge difference when things go sideways. First off, the visibility of these flares is unmatched. We're talking about a bright, fiery beacon that can be seen for miles, even in poor weather conditions. This is crucial for signaling rescuers or even communicating with your group over long distances when conventional methods are out of the question. But here's where it gets interesting, and a bit controversial. These flares can also be used for defensive purposes. Imagine a scenario where you're being threatened by wildlife, or worse, hostile individuals. A well-timed flare shot can scare off animals and serve as a deterrent against two-legged threats as well. It's a non-lethal option that adds an extra layer of security. Now, you might be wondering, why get them before they're illegal? Legislation around the world is tightening up on items that can be classified as pyrotechnics or signaling devices due to their potential misuse. Getting your hands on these flares while it's still legal to do so means you're adding a powerful tool to your survival kit that might not be available down the line. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility. Handling flares requires strict adherence to safety protocols. They're not toys, and misusing them can lead to severe consequences, both legally and physically. Always ensure you're familiar with the proper operation and legal requirements in your area before adding them to your gear. So there you have it, folks. Flares, an often overlooked item that deserves a spot in your survival arsenal. Whether it's for signaling, illumination, or a non-lethal means of protection, the utility of a good flare cannot be overstated. Just remember to act responsibly and stay informed about the regulations governing their use. 8. 
All right, folks, before we wrap up today's gear showcase, I've got one more item that's a bit of a dark horse in the prepping community, but hear me out, it's the stun baton. Now, I know what you're thinking. Finance Daily, why are we talking about stun batons? Well, let me tell you. In a world where personal safety becomes a day-to-day -day concern, having a non-lethal means of defending yourself and your loved ones could be invaluable. And before you ask, yes, we're looking into the legalities of these devices because, as we've seen, laws are always changing, and something like this could very well be on the chopping block in the near future. The stun baton I'm talking about isn't your average cattle prod. This is a high-voltage, low-amperage device designed to incapacitate a threat without causing permanent harm. It's the kind of tool that offers peace of mind. Knowing you have a means to protect yourself that's a step above physical confrontation, but a step below lethal force. And in the true spirit of preparedness, it's about having options. This particular model comes with a few features that set it apart. First, it's rechargeable, meaning you won't be fumbling for batteries when you need it most. Second, it has a built-in flashlight, which is always handy in emergency situations, not just for visibility, but as a potential means to disorient a would-be attacker. And third, it's designed with durability in mind, a rugged, rubberized grip and a metal frame that can withstand the rigors of a bug-out bag or the harsh environment of a survival situation. <clears throat> now, I'm not suggesting you go out and start zapping everything that moves. Like all tools in your prepping arsenal, this requires responsibility, training, and a clear understanding of the laws in your area. But in a scenario where calling for help isn't an option and escape isn't possible, a stun baton could very well be the difference between being a victim and being a survivor. So, there you have it, folks. Another piece of gear to consider for your prepping needs. As always, do your research, stay informed, and prepare responsibly. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found these gear suggestions helpful and maybe even a bit eye-opening. Remember, preparation is key, and having the right tools at your disposal can make all the difference in a survival situation. Stay tuned for more tips, reviews, and survival strategies. And as always, stay safe, stay prepared, and keep thriving, no matter what the world throws your way. Don't forget to like, subscribe,